Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have five 9.8 comics that are rising in value. So the first one up, it's a Detective Comics 566. Yeah, this one's sort of one of those underfollowed Batman comics that's pretty much been slowly but steadily kind of trending up over the last few years. And I think it started with that Joker movie. You know, this one's kind of the first appearance of the Rogues Gallery with all the uh, Batman villains. So the Joker movie kind of got it going on this one and uh, pretty much kind of a follow through with the Batman movie. Uh, you know, nowadays, quite a few uh, Batman key issues doing pretty well. And uh, Detective Comics 566 is one of them. Uh, this is one, you know, in the past, I've been really close on this one and it was about two or three years ago. Uh, they were about $125 or so, I think was the price I was looking at back then. I think nowadays, they're about $350, maybe even getting up to $400. I saw one sell on eBay for $499 or best offer. And, uh, you know, uh, if you look back a few months, they're kind of going around that $350 to $400 range. There's a 81 9.8s in a blue label. 39.5% is the 9.8 ratio. So, you know, if you're a big Batman fan, I'm kind of on the lookout for this one to maybe just cool down a little bit. You know, the Batman movie is kind of has been out for a while. I think it's on like, you can get it on like YouTube movies and stuff like that now. So I think some of the Batman hype might just fizzle down in the next three to six months. And maybe this Detective Comics 566 kind of pulls back to sort of 250 to 275. Right in that price range, I feel like it's a pretty fantastic buy. Yeah, this is one I do kind of regret. Like just, I do have a lot of Batman 9.8s and I kind of wish I bought this one when it was a little cheaper. Maybe it goes a little under $300, I think at that point. It's a pretty fantastic buy, but um, yeah, Detective 566 is absolutely rising in value over the last uh, yeah year or two, let's call it, kind of slowly but steadily. Next one is uh, just a great one. It's a Simpsons Comics and Stories, number one. First appearance of the Simpsons in comic books. I'm uh, really glad I sort of recommended this one off and on over the last kind of six to 12 months, I would say. It's absolutely rising in value. A few people on the team let me know there were quite a few that had sold in the sort of eight to nine hundred dollar range. And uh, when we first started recommending this one, it was like three hundred and fifty bucks. You know, maybe kind of recommended like I'd probably pay uh, willing to pay up to five hundred in the nine point eight. Just kind of a big first appearance, great cover with the Bartman kind of Batman spoof cover. So. uh yeah, I'm glad I, you know, was able to recommend this one because I know there was a few people on the team that had got out and bought this one, luckily. Uh, so there's 113 9.8s in a blue label, 13.4%, the 9.8 ratio. So, you know, kind of right around 900, let's call it, these ones are selling for it nowadays. Maybe you can get it on a bit of a cool down, a little closer to 700, but I'm tempted to kind of chase this one, to be honest. There's only 113 of them out there. It's a Welsh publication, so going to be a little bit more lower printed than a Marvel or DC comic book from this time for sure. So I think that's a positive for it as well. So this might be one to chase, you know, maybe you can hopefully get it closer to kind of seven to 800 rather than 900 to a thousand nowadays. But first appearance of Simpsons, if you're a Simpsons fan, this is kind of the one to get. Yeah. And it's a great 9.8 collector item as well. All right. Next one. It's a uh, High Republic Adventures number two, Star Wars High Republic Adventures number two. Recommended this one on a few like under $100 videos. This is the first appearance of Marchion Row, first full appearance of Marchion Row. In the first issue, you get a cameo, but this is the first full appearance of Marchion Row, a big villain in the High Republic era. Yeah, he's really, you know, up there with almost being like the Darth Vader of the High Republic era, pretty much. And uh, this one is absolutely rising in value. It, it kind of surprised me. I know I did recommend it as one that was great under $100 in the 9.8, but I never kind of pulled the trigger myself. I got a couple raw copies of this one, but I didn't think there was that much potential, but a few sales, $152.50 in an auction. And this was one like, you could have bought them for 50 bucks. Like uh, some had went for like 40, $45, like when people didn't really realize that this one had a first appearance. Uh, so one fifty two fifty a recent sale. Of note too, the variant, the retailer incentive variant. I kind of thought that one was probably a great one when it was under $100 as well. Uh, but the cover's a bit underwhelming, but that one I saw sell for $192.50, and I'm pretty sure I saw that one go over $200 as well. So there's a few people targeting this one, and, um, you know, it's a brand new book. I think there's a lot of these out there. High Republic was quite popular when it first came out. 
I would aim for under 150, closer to 100, I think, if this one just cools down a little bit. There's 266, 9.8 in a blue label, and 89% is the 9.8 ratio. But if you're into some of these newer Star Wars books, like that's probably one to go after with that big appearance of Marchion Rowe, is, is a really big villain. If they end up doing a High Republic movie or show, Marchion Rowe is probably, you know, the main villain looking awesome in that uh, movie or show. So th that one could have some uh, future potential. Another Star Wars book here, a Star Wars number two. Yeah, I saw a sale on this one for $5,000 and a 9.8. So this one is certainly rising in value a little bit. And understandable, the uh, Obi-Wan show uh, is kind of imminently coming out. I'm not sure exactly when that's coming out, but uh, this one is the first appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, so but right around $5,000. I'd mentioned this one as, it was on, I think, an underrated video or something like that. And when this one cools down, like say in six months to a year, I think it's going to be a great one. And about a year to two years ago when nobody knew about the Obi-Wan show, Star Wars number two was a great one. Uh, it was like closer to $2,000, to be honest. Now it's $5,000. I think uh, you want to be patient on this one. Um, if you're willing to pay 5000 for this one, I'd probably just go after a Star Wars number one, which those have sort of had some weird higher sales. I think that one is kind of debatable. I think there was one on a Heritage auction that went for a really high price, but we'll see if that kind of sticks. But um, I, if I was willing to spend five k on a Star Wars number two, I'd go after a Star Wars number one and spend maybe another $1,000 to get that one. But... Um, yeah, Star Wars 2, it's a great one, but uh, I'd wait for it to cool down. There's 142 9.8s in the blue label, 5.3% is the 9.8 ratio. So it's, I'm pretty sure that's a little bit tougher. It's got a lower 9.8 ratio uh, than a Star Wars 1. So uh, that's interesting. But yeah, uh, it's just a little bit too hot right now. It's absolutely rising in value. I'd uh, be a little bit patient here, let this Obi-Wan show play its course, and maybe get a, a better deal on a Star Wars number 2 in a 9.8. Okay, last one. Uh, pretty stiff price for this one, I noticed. It's a, a pretty cool a secondary key issue, I would say, for a Transformers book. Transformers number eight. First full appearance of Dinobots. And uh, a pretty cool cover on this one as well with the Dinobots on the cover. There's 203, 9.8s in a blue label, 32%, the 9.8 ratio for this one. So I was sort of under the impression that this one probably went for about 275 or so, maybe, you know, getting up to 300. But I saw an auction go for three, uh, $435.82. And uh, there was a newsstand one that had sold on this one that went right around 500 I think it was like 505 and ended up going for in an auction too. So this one seems to be rising in value. And uh, I don't know if there's maybe some, you know, Dinobot rumors with the next Transformers movie. I have no clue. But um, it does seem like this one's heating up just a little bit more than usual. Uh, but you know what, 435.82, maybe you just wait a little under 400 on this one, I think is a more fair value in the direct edition. But that new stand edition that went for right around 500, I actually think that's a, that's a pretty awesome deal for this one in a, kind of a tougher new stand in the really high grade. But um, yeah, if you're a Transformers fan, this one's kind of one to target. I've, I've been close on this one too. I got a CBCS 9.8 of Transformers number one. I got the last issue of Transformers as well, which is a tough 9.8. Yeah, I picked those up like four years ago. They were really early on buys for me. But I always thought about adding a Transformers number eight. Uh, Should have did it when they were really two, three years ago. They were like 150 bucks. Uh, now one selling for $435.82. So maybe, hopefully this one just cools down. You get a little, little under 400 in the new stand around 500. is looking pretty decent though. For, uh, Transformers number eight. Certainly if you're kind of a big dinosaur, Dinobots guy, um, this is the one to get. So <laughs> cool cover for sure. All right, team. Uh, so five 9.8s that are rising in value. Uh, I find most of these ones where the obvious ones that are rising in value, a lot of times you probably want to be a little bit patient on them. And I think for the most part, most of these are in that um, zone, but I think the Simpsons comics and stories and even the Detective 566, they're just great collector items. So I could have you know, imagine kind of getting in there right now, even though they're a little bit heated up. But um, yeah, good to get a, a few that are uh, increasing in value. Okay. Thanks so much for watching though, team. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell and I'll keep you updated on future videos.